Murphy's Bro now. Welcome to Derek Bonnet with TriStar Boxing. Big event happening this Saturday night. I love it. Derek, good morning to you, my man. Good morning, Joe. Thanks for having me back. It's a lot of fun. I got to tell you what, I, we went down back in May, my son and I, for the boxing thing. We're absolutely hooked. Looking forward to Saturday night. But this is more than just what happened back in May. You, you guys have stepped up your game, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, July has been a real power month for TriStar Boxing. Um, you know, starting off on the first, we had that sellout show in Nashville, which uh, oh, it, I'm still I'm still reeling from it, to be honest. Sitch, that venue worked out so perfectly, and I'm pleased to, uh, to announce they've asked us to come back in the fall. <laughs> this event here in Murfreesboro, um, up in our game, yes. I, I, I think that's a, an appropriate description. Um, you know, we, we have really – a great five bout card, but there are two bouts especially uh, that all boxing fans of all levels should really be interested in. Um, at the local level, we have Rydell Super Maze, uh, who, who around town is very well known. Uh, he carries this boxing scene uh, in many ways, but he's in a tough position because he's fighting a rematch. The rematch in boxing is one of the most romanticized ideas. Here's a man who has his one defeat and he was kind of quiet about it at first. And we didn't realize how much, uh, you know, it, it impacted him personally. He moved on with his career, but Rydell really couldn't move on as a person until he got this revenge against Jaden Booth. So they're going to do it again. And I tell you, the, their first fight, both men were out on their feet, ready to go at various times in the contest. And it just so happened that, you know, Jaden got the win. But Rydell's been back in the gym. He's worked with world champion Alonga Makabu, who's the cruiserweight title holder. And most recently, he worked with uh, internet and uh, social media sensation Jake Paul uh, to help get himself in shape. He's taking this rematch seriously. There's a lot on the line for Rydell. The other fight, um, uh, Jarrell Big Baby Miller. He, he's not a local talent. This man is a world-class talent who was supposed to be fighting for his heavyweight championship bout against Anthony Joshua several years ago. He, he's been inactive. Um, he had a ring suspension. He's back in action. Uh, he fought last month, and he's trying to stay busy working off the rust. He works with uh, Greg Cohen Promotions and Salita Promotions, and that's what's been really nice is those companies are, are working with TriStar Boxing, uh, you know, trusting us to help keep their talent developed. Um, and I think uh, Miller will be right back in heavyweight title contention very shortly. This is a big deal, Derek. I mean, you got the embassy suites down there. Again, I went down there. I didn't know. I'd never been to a boxing match before. Didn't know what to expect. The place was packed. It was clean. It was nice. It was professional. Everybody was nice. We were hooked. And I can only imagine what this Saturday night's going to be with this big fight that you just talked about. Yeah, I, I'm really expecting a crowd that's going to, you know, I think each time out now um, we're, we're going to see those bigger crowds. I think we're going to see uh, some really, uh, you know, a mix of kind of just the local sporting fans to uh, the more hard edge boxing fans just based on the, the attractions that we have here. Uh, but you're going to see that crowd. You're going to see the people very excited for the action. And the thing about Rydell and Miller is these men score knockouts galore. Uh, you know, 22 knockouts out of 24 wins for, for Miller, uh, 11 knockouts out of 12 wins for, for uh, Rydell. So we're going to see, most likely, these bouts ending before the final bell. No, I'm not saying this because you're on the show this morning, but I'd never seen a boxing match. I'd never seen a dude knocked out in the ring, and that night I saw a guy knocked down the ring. And just the, the excitement, the atmosphere – I'm not sure, uh, Derek, I've ever experienced that before. Yeah, you know, I mean, you, you've seen the grand slams. You've seen those miracle um, touchdown passes. And there's something that uh, – but a knockout, you know, I, I remember I took uh, – when I went to my first fight, I remember just the difference from it being on TV. And, and it reminded me of that scene back in the Rocky film where he's punching the sides of beef. Um, yeah. You really hear the leather – impacting on the human body um not too long ago about well, four years ago i guess my, my daughter was probably kindergarten age and i wanted to introduce her to boxing um my buddy was promoting a show and i was so happy for her. it was supposed to be a special day but it, it was actually too much for her because the uh you know just seeing the combat up close right 
really you get to see an intensity that doesn't come through on the TV cameras. Oh, I totally agree with you. Uh, so again, Embassy Switch, what, you know, and we've seen those boxing matches on TV when they do it in a casino and then in a ballroom. I don't know what to expect, but it was just so cool the setup that you guys had. And the best part, Derek, I love the anticipation because you hear the bell ring, you got the ring announcer who's fantastic. Here comes the one boxer, here comes the other boxer. I mean, the show before the boxing was almost as good as the boxing. Yeah, I mean, I think boxing takes a lot of its um, organization and the ambiance from ancient Rome. You know, you're talking about the, the Colosseum and those the entry where the gladiator is going in to meet the gladiator or, or in the film, the lion. Um, you know, so you get that ring walk, um, you know, with the music, the crowd, um, you know, as they enter the ring, you know, as if there was a way, you know, if there was a chance for them to walk in a different direction, but at this point it's too late. They, they're they only walking into the ring for that combat. Um, and there's just something about it that really just amplifies things as opposed to, you know, them just starting off in the ring magically, you know, it really does amplify things. All right. How many strikes do we have Saturday night? We got a five bout card. Um, some big boys, uh, as I mentioned with uh, Rydell Mays and, and Jerome Miller, but also uh, we have Alan Belcher, who is a UFC veteran who also fights in, in boxing. Uh, he does the bare knuckle boxing as well, in which he's actually poised for a title shot in the very near future. Uh, but this night he'll be in the ring and, and strict boxing, um, looking to advance his career and build his technical game. Um, you know, we have a couple other fighters, uh, a 17 and one bo uh, boxer from Memphis, Joey Bryant, uh, who's looking to keep active. He's got a six round fight there. And, uh, you know, we're looking to be, uh, we're looking we're excited to have a good look at him. Uh, and then Aridoni Leon will round out the card or actually in this case, start, get the card started in a four round bout, uh, where he's looking to, you know, continue on in his career, plug in, get a, get his next victory. I know, Derek, when you put events together like this, you always wonder how it is going to be received. Are you a little bit shocked or not shocked at all about how well these bouts have been received in Middle Tennessee? I'm – I'm beyond pleased. I know uh, our CEO, Matt Young, uh, he, he's quiet about it, but I, I believe I, I see a, uh, a quiet confidence. in when he's talking about the, the action after, uh, you know, particularly after Nashville, since that's our most recent show, you know, I can see he was very proud of the event he organized and, uh, you know, helped carry up, carry off with, of course, old Smokey and Yeehaw Brewery. Um, you know, it, it's really nice to see things come together. Um, you know, look at, you know, you take a walk around the crowd, you see the fans really engaged, uh, particularly that night in Nashville. You know, we had a lot of fan engagement with the fighters after once their bouts concluded and their during their, uh, their post fight interviews, you know, the ring announcer was talking to the crowd and you could see several of the fighters were very much crowd pleasers who the crowd, you know, well, apparently seemed that they wanted them to come back uh, to see again. So, you know, it was, you can't help but be proud when things come together. You get uh, you know, a good fight that either goes the distance that's competitive. Uh, you get a fight that is a, a scintillating knockout that just wows the fans. Uh, so there's a great deal of pride with what's happening in TriStar Boxing. I love it. Somebody sent a note and wanted to know if they, they're not in the Tennessee. Can they stream this? There is a live stream. Um, it's, it's through uh, www.volume.com backslash TriStar Boxing. Okay. Um, if you go to the TriStar Boxing page during this week, we'll have more information about the live stream um, because, uh, you know, the, we'll, we, we, uh, each day we kind of add a little bit more advertisement. So we'll have something there, um, you know, for fans who are, you know, out of state or just can't make it. Uh, the lives or most of our shows are, are typically live streamed. Perfect. Perfect. Derek, as always, man, open invitation. Anytime you want to come on here, uh, it should be a great event Saturday night down at uh, Murfreesboro. Uh, I wish you guys nothing but success. I love Matt. I love what he's doing. Love what you guys are doing. Keep up the good work, my man. We appreciate the support so much, Joe. And as and we, we return that open invitation, please come out to the fights. We'd love to see you. We'll do. Derek Bonet, thank you, brother. Have a good day. Thank you. Take care, Joe. All right. It's really cool. Intern, we got to get you down there for one of these because it's – it's you. Uh, have you ever been to a boxing match? I haven't. I've only participated in them. Okay. <laughs>